be with you today uh, as we gather together uh, this morning. Uh, good to be with you today on the, uh, what is it, 19th of, 18th of uh, January, 1010. Let me get my stuff up here this morning. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, I think so. I got some folks on uh, this morning, jumping on here. That's great. Um, glad to be with you. Morning, Lou. Uh, see who else jumps on. We got a few others coming on, and I got some hopefully some people on the phone. Uh, I think Shriggy's down in Florida. Maybe he's maybe he's on this morning. I don't know. Could be. Um, we just don't know who's out there, but whoever is, we're, we're glad you're here with us today. Uh, we've got some good stuff. Uh, as we continue our look at the book of Matthew, uh, we find ourselves uh, continuing our look through Matthew. Maybe you've been reading, uh, going along, uh, maybe a chapter a day, or maybe you've been uh, just following along uh, in the uh, devotional, uh, but good to be in the book of, of Matthew. Uh, morning, Tom and Michelle. Good to be with you. Morning, Deb, again. Um, and uh, those who are with us on the phone today. So uh, let me uh, let me get going here this morning. Uh, well, uh, today um, uh, we're talking about leadership. Who are we following? Um, who who are you? Who are you following? Who is your your leader? Uh, um, Maybe it's someone uh, out in the world, maybe you decided, oh, I'm going to be my own leader. Uh, well, today uh, we hear Jesus' call for us to follow him. And he describes um, himself as our good shepherd. Uh, that's certainly a theme that we see throughout Scripture. It's a beautiful picture of uh, one who, who leads sheep. Uh, leads his people and it's interesting when you think about sheep uh, we are a lot like sheep um, yeah uh, it, you know it couldn't have been a more perfect uh, picture of, of who we are and how desperately we need a leader someone who will lead us but we have to be careful who it is we we follow and we uh, discover that even from Jesus himself in his Sermon on the Mount this morning as we turn there. Uh, he reminds us who we should be following uh, as he reminds us who he is. And so our, uh, our, our, our verses for today, the first one comes from Micah 7.14. And it says, uh, shepherd your people with your staff. Um, shepherd your people with your staff. And sometimes we need a, a, a little direction. Um, and a staff would have been used by a shepherd both to move uh, sheep along and also to protect sheep. Uh, and as Mike is talking here, he's, he's probably saying uh, we need a shepherd to move us along because sometimes we get off track, we get lost, we go our own way. Uh, now, the reality is we don't always like to be shepherded. We like to go our own and lead our own way, but uh, we need that. And sometimes the Lord will uh, uh, direct us in ways that we don't want to go. Uh, but he is our shepherd, and he knows what is good for us. And so we trust in him. In fact, John 10, 4 says, The sheep follow the shepherd because they know his voice. We know our good shepherd's voice. And Jesus talks about that in our, our reading for, for today, that he... He is one we can trust. We can trust his voice. We know his voice, and we know that he is leading us in the right direction. He wants what is good for, for us, and we want to be people who follow him. Uh, follow him even when it isn't always easy. Uh, follow him with caution as we, as we listen, uh, as we are oftentimes led astray uh, by the, the voices of of those who claim to be shepherds, those who claim to be leading us in the right way. And so Jesus really, as he continues this sermon, as he's talking to the people, uh, uh, just is encouraging them, uh, just as he encourages us um, to follow him, uh, to follow his voice because we know it and we know that he wants good for us. He will not lead us 
in the wrong direction. Uh, he wants good for us, his sheep. In fact, uh, he willingly laid down his life for the sheep. That's how much we know the shepherd cares for us. He laid down his life for the sheep. Um, and so we can listen to his voice. We can follow him. Uh, even when he challenges us and calls us to go in a way we'd rather not go. And so Jesus, uh, in his sermon, uh, speaks uh, these words. Uh, we'll be, we're at Matthew chapter 7, beginning at verse 13 and going through verse 23. Verse 13 through 23. Jesus says, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many, many enter through it. But small is the gate, and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Uh, how true that is in our world today. Um, the road is, is narrow, um, and the ways of this world are wide, and they, they, they beckon and they call us. Uh, and yet Jesus says, follow me. It's not the easy road, <laughs> not the way of the world, but follow me. And then your journey, he says, watch out for false prophets. They come in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ferocious wolves. By their fruit, you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, by their fruit, you will recognize them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father is, who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, we did, not, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Be careful, uh, Jesus says, uh, those who would lead us in the wrong direction. Uh, those who don't have in mind uh, the good of the sheep, but their, but their own good. And know them by their fruit, not just by what they say, but how they live their, their lives. Are they willing to sacrifice? Are they willing to do the hard thing? Uh, are they willing to take the, the narrow road rather than the wide road? Jesus gives us some real important uh, important advice here, if you will, um, as he calls us to to follow to follow him. Don't just go through the motions, Jesus says. Um, don't just go through the motions, but do the will of your Father. Hear your your hear the good shepherd's voice, and and follow him. So, what's Jesus calling you? Uh, to follow him in today. Uh, what kind of obedience uh, is Jesus asking of you today? Uh, is it to not worry? Uh, is it to uh, set aside our pride, to soak that pride um, in God's truth? Uh, and so today God is, is calling us, the Good Shepherd is calling us. It's not always the easy road, but he's calling us to a good road uh, to, follow, uh, to follow him. Um, we've got some prayers today. Uh, pray for Judy Reedy. We're still trying to deal with some of the uh, blood pressure stuff she's dealing with. Uh, pray for young uh, Lily Connerty, uh, who's dealing with health issues. Uh, those who are continuing in their battle and their fight with, with COVID, um, hopefully the numbers will start to diminish. Uh, we're we're certainly, uh, certainly praying for that, and that those who are dealing with it would be... Uh, would, would, would be able to come through it with, with, not, with uh, little or no damage. Uh, we pray for a prayer of thanksgiving for Tom and Michelle. Tom's uh, couple of tumors were shrinking, and there were no new tumors with his cancer. So we'll continue our, our prayers uh, that, that God is always at work. We always believe God is at work. And um, um, sometimes he lets us in on what he's doing, but he always... Uh, 
He always is at work uh, for our good. That's our good shepherd. Uh, shepherd us by your staff, Lord. Sometimes he brings us through some hard stuff so that we depend on him and turn to him. But God is always at work, always at work for our good. Sometimes he lets us in and allows us to see uh, what he what he is doing. Uh, but sometimes he doesn't, and so we trust in him. We trust that good shepherd as he leads us down that path and know that it's, it's for our good. So let me pray here this morning. Uh, Loving shepherd, how blessed it is to be your sheep. You know us, and we know your voice. No matter where we go or what we do, your love gently guides us all the way. How blessed we are. How truly blessed we are today, Lord, uh, as you have called us to hear your voice, called us to follow you in a road that leads to life and not death. Um, we know the ways of this world are wide and broad, and they, would, they look very enticing. Uh, uh, they, they beckon us to come, and, and yet, Lord, uh, we know that, that they don't lead to our good, but to our demise. And so we seek to follow you, Jesus, even when it is difficult, even when it uh, goes against uh, our culture, um, even when it, it isn't easy. Uh, and as we follow your Lord, help us to hear your voice amidst the voice of so many who, who, who seek to lead us and direct us and guide us. It can be so confusing uh, that, that we miss your voice, Lord, amid all the noise and all the static. Uh, instead, help us to hear your voice and, and follow you and follow uh, those who, who seek to lead us in the, in the, right, in the right way. And as we follow, Lord, help us to do. Uh, help us to do your will where we go. Um, for it is by our fruits that we will be recognized. Uh, our faith shows in, in how we live, in our obedience to you. Uh, we know that we already belong, <laughs> that we are saved by grace, and yet that faith that we have, um, it shows itself in how we, how we live our lives as we seek to follow the shepherd and do what he asks us to do. And so we ask, Lord, that you would help us to do that this day uh, in those places where we're struggling. Help us to trust in you. Uh, help us to take the, the, the way that you, you lead, uh, even when it isn't always easy. Uh, Lord, we know uh, that we, we have some work to do in our own lives, uh, in our own homes, <laughs> inside of us, and we just ask that you would help us uh, as we do that today to soak our pride uh, in your truth that we desperately need you in your forgiveness that we need a savior that we can't do it on our own and that you are good for us good to us Lord we pray today Lord for Lily and Judy uh, that you would be with them in their struggles for those who are battling COVID-19 and all the ramifications that go along with that we pray Lord that this would this, this surge would quickly pass uh, and that you would protect uh, protect your people from this. We ask that this uh, pandemic would, would quickly come to an end um, so that we can move forward in faith as people who are following uh, Jesus together. That's really what we long to do uh, and live the life that you want for us. Uh, we're grateful, Lord, when you let us in on what you're doing. Uh, thanks for being with Tom and bringing healing to his cancer. We just pray for a complete remission and restoration for his health for him. Uh, Lord, uh, we pray that you would go be before us and behind us this day. Uh, lead us in the path of life uh, that we may glorify you in all that we do and say. Uh, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, good to be with you guys uh, today. I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. Continue our look at uh, Matthew. Uh, we're in the book of Matthew. So, um, Come to Bible class on Sunday morning. We're answering questions. Uh, you can join us on Zoom uh, for that. But we'd love to have you be a part of that as well in church uh, this weekend. We're looking forward to that. All right, you guys have a great day. Uh, good to be with you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.